afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me for just a few minutes out of your afternoon. My name is Emma England, and today I'm going to show you our GeForce Max kit that is on sale this month for $300 off and a live demo. So I'm just going to wait a few more minutes here for a couple people to join in. Um, but just as we wait, I just want to tell you um, kind of what the GeForce Max is about. So this system is a distortion-free one-step polishing process that I'm going to show you today. It's distortion-free meaning nothing's being taken away to the, from the glass and nothing's being added. So no abrasives. You don't need to worry about feathering out around the glass or anything like that. It's a simple one-step process. It only takes a few minutes. So um, they'll save you tons of time and money on that damaged glass that you're probably just throwing away. So I'm just going to show you a few features here on our actual motor. So this is the GeForce Max motor itself. Um, it took about two years for them to design this to make it as ergonomic and easy to use as possible. Um, as you can see, my hands when I'm using it are going to fit really snugly around it. This is going to help me keep the disc really flat against the glass, which is um, what makes this process the most efficient. It takes only a couple minutes when I keep that disc completely flat. Another feature I want to point out to you is this water feed, uh, water feed trigger. So it fits perfectly where my thumb would go naturally, and it feeds right out of this bottle straight into the back of the motor, and that's how you get just a little bit of water that you'll need. Um, and I'll show you how that works here in a minute. The other thing I wanna show you is the trigger right here, which is gonna run the drill at the correct RPMs that it needs to be, and this little lock trigger. So this is gonna lock the motor in at the correct RPMs, and this is essentially how the process works. You're gonna get the motor to the right RPMs, which is gonna cause some friction on the glass and heat, and you're gonna use that along with the polishing compound on this polishing disc. And it's just going to create a chemical reaction on the glass that's going to smooth over where the scratch is. So the combination of the heat and friction, the polishing compound, is going to create kind of a slurry on the glass, a chemical reaction. And it's going to be similar to ironing a t-shirt. Nothing's being taken away. Nothing's being added. You're just smoothing right over it. The other two components that are going to be in your kit are this blue polishing disc right here. You're gonna get three of those in a pack, and then this soft foam um, backer pad has a little bit of give to it, so it makes it super easy to stay flat against the glass on there. Um, the polishing discs in the pack of three will get you about 60 hours of work, along with the polishing compound, which will give you about 60 hours worth of uh, scratches to take out. So each scratch should only take a few minutes to take out, so you get a ton of, um, ton of use out of your first batch of consumables. And then after that, um, you'll just go from there. So um, pretty easy to use on that end. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention real quick is that the chat box and the question box um, should both be open on here. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to type them out. Um, I'll try to answer them as I go and for sure try to answer them all by the end. You can also always email me with questions um, at the end of the webinar if you think of something um, after, after we're done here. So what I want to do first is just show you how I'm going to make this scratch to do the, uh, to do the demo. I'm just going to use this little piece of glass with a rough edge on it. This is going to simulate most scratches that you're going to see. Um, it's going to show kind of what it would look like for a rub mark rubbing against another piece of glass either during transportation, install, or even on a manufacturing floor. Um, if it just gets rubbed against something else or um, gets damaged in cleaning or in transportation. So this is um, gonna represent about what 80% of scratches are gonna be that you're probably gonna come across. Um, so right now I'm just gonna change my webcam over so you can see what I'm working on back here. Change that for you. Okay, perfect. So now you guys can see me hopefully right in here. Awesome. So I'm just going to make a few scratches with this piece of glass. Um, you should be able to see them. I know it's a little bit hard with the reflection, but try to get some good ones on there. All right, I'll make three of them. Okay, and hopefully you guys can see those. I'll try to put my shirt kind of over it. Um, one common misconception about scratch removal is that if you can catch your fingernail in it, you can't remove it. And with these, I can easily catch my fingernail in them. 
So most people would say, nope, we can't take that out or you would need a sanding disc. But with our one-step polishing system with no abrasives, these will all be taken out in probably one to two minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get ready for, for the process is I'm just gonna rough up the polishing disc a little bit with this brush. Get all the old compound on here. And the good thing about these polishing discs, they actually work better when you use them um, over and over and over again without cleaning, because you're just gonna get some of that dried compound in there that you haven't used, and the water is just gonna um, disperse that right out. So a used um, polishing disc is usually the best one to use. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of my polishing compound here, and you can see how much I'm gonna use. This small, and that might even be too much. The smallest amount right here is gonna take out these scratches super easy. So you really don't need to use that much compound at all when you're doing this process. So what I'm gonna do is just put it on the polishing disc and scrape it straight into there. It's gonna open up all of those pores that I just um, opened up with that roughing brush. So get that straight in there. Perfect. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of water through here to start. And I'm gonna lock in my trigger and go. Um, you won't be able to hear me very much when I'm talking um, with the motor on, but I'll stop as I go and kind of explain some things that I'm doing. Um, one thing to watch out for, notice when I'm running the disc, it's gonna be really flat and go in a circular pattern or kind of up and down. Okay, and I'm gonna stop us there for just a minute and um, show out one more feature that we have here. Hopefully you can see this, I'm sorry, it's a little messy. Um, this is a thermometer. So this is gonna tell me if I'm in the right temperature range to be taking out scratches. Um, I'm just working on a tempered piece of glass, pretty strong. We can get up to about 180 degrees on this. If you're working on anything like plated glass, laminated glass, you wanna go a little bit cooler than that. But right now, after we cool down a little bit, I'm right around 120, so that's perfect. Um, I'm just gonna run this for probably 20 more seconds and we should be good. Use a little bit more water and we'll get going. Alrighty, I'm going to use just a paper towel and see see what our progress is like. Um, and if you notice too, I'm just working in a really concentrated area on the glass, um, right in that little sharpie hole I made in there. So you don't need to feather out, you don't need to go anywhere but right on the scratch. That's also going to help um, make the process go easier if you keep the pressure right there. So you can look and see those scratches are completely gone. Um, let me switch my camera over real quick so I can talk to you through here. All right, awesome. So you can see on there the scratches are completely gone. So this is going to save you a ton of time and money. No one will ever know it's damaged. You're not going to have to worry about distortion. Um, it was just a one step process. I think that probably took me two, two and a half minutes maybe. And that's going to save you tons of time, tons of money on replacement. Um, you get a damaged piece of glass in, whether you're an installer or you manufacture the glass, and you have a you get a scratch on there. That's going to one cost you time to have to possibly remake the piece of glass if it's custom. It's going to take you um, a lot more manpower to go in and replace that piece of glass. So 
It's super mobile, super easy to bring wherever you're going on the job, and it's going to save you time and money. And it's also going to really help with customer expectations and your and your reputation because they can count on you for being on time, everything being the best quality you can you can do. And um, you know you can't let scratches get in your way when they're that easy to take out. So. Um, like I mentioned, these scratch kits, everything I used, it's on sale this month for, for $300 off. So that's gonna be $12.95, and that's gonna save you at least triple that amount in the first couple months of you using this with, the, with being able to get those scratches out. So please let me know. I don't think we have any questions on here yet, but um, I will type in my email address here, just Emma at glasswell.com and shoot me over any questions you might have. I'm happy to help you um, or feel free to give us a call. So I think that's about it for today. Um, let us know if you have any questions and just remember the scratch tails are on, the scratch kits are on sale this month, $300 off. Awesome. Thank you guys.